this is Jerome from Nonstop Tech and today we have a cool little tip for you that might save you a lot of money depending on what you're doing with your audio. So as you've seen bef in my YouTube channel I do a lot of screencasts for applications and I usually have two audio sources. So the first one is my like iPad or iPhone and the second one is my voice as I record it. Uh, you also notice that when you look at the apps, they usually don't hear the sounds from the games or the applications. And I was trying to find an easy way to kind of record both the sounds from the games and record the audio from the my voice. So it used to be you had to pick up a pretty much a mixer or find some other alternative ways like re recording the audio stream separately and then combining them into one with like Final Cut 10 or iMovie, but that's kind of a pain because you have to make sure that they match up. I know most of the time the applications help you, but it's just kind of a pain. So what I found after doing a little bit of Google Foo is that um, the Mac has something built in called the Audio MIDI Setup application. So you can find this easiest way is to use Spotlight, type in audio, and the first choice should be Audio MIDI Setup. You can also go over to your finder, and once you're inside your finder, you can actually go over to Applications. It's inside the Utilities folder, and then Audio MIDI Setup. This one takes a while longer, so I'd recommend you Spotlight. It speeds things up a lot. So once we start up Audio MIDI Setup, you will see that I've already created two aggregate devices. This one right here is my Yeti microphone and my uh, Black Magic Intensity Extreme, which I use to record my screencasts. And you'll see there's more options. I'm going to actually remove two of these because I was testing it a while back. So if you want to actually add an aggregate device, all you have to do is hit plus, create an aggregate device, and you can choose which devices you want to use to create that combined audio stream. So, for example, here I have my Yeti microphone hooked in. I can use also use my built-in microphone, and you can use the actual input on the side of the Mac. Or if you have any other devices or applications, well it's usually devices hooked up that you can actually combine into one audio stream. So it makes life a little easier. So to create it, you just select what you want, and once you've done that you can actually go into any application and choose aggregate device as your audio input and it will record from both of those streams. What I recommend is if you double click or click and hold you can actually rename it so I don't want to call this aggregate device I can call this my screencast audio stream. Kind of easier than having to deal with aggregate device. I'm like, what is this? Uh, more likely I only have one, but this just makes it a little easier. Another cool thing is if you click on the triangle, it actually shows the devices that you have hooked up to this aggregate stream. When you click on it, you can actually you can change the audio around. So if you for example if you don't want it to be super loud, let's say I'm recording a game and it, there's these annoying noises in the background more likely I don't want to have that playing while I'm speaking or I want it to be a lot quieter so I can actually tune that down and then raise the input of my voice you can also adjust this inside of like Final Cut or GarageBand even or whatever audio application you use but yeah this is an easy way to save hundreds of dollars instead of picking up a mixer and picking up expensive extra devices Hope this helps you if you're looking to get into screencasting or if you have just multiple audio streams you want to combine into one. So um, this is Drone from Nonstop Tech. I'd recommend check out our podcast. It's Nonstop Tech on iTunes. You can also check out nonstophonolulu.com, my webpage, dronecolor.com, or just shoot me an email at drone at nonstophonolulu.com. Mahalo.